Vedanta Resources PLC, headquartered in London, is a London Stock Exchange listed diversified conglomerate dealing in metals, mining and power. It is also India's largest metals and mining company based on revenues. Vedanta has its presence in London, Australia, India, Namibia, Zambia and South Africa. Vedanta is primarily engaged in copper, zinc, aluminium, lead, silver and iron ore businesses and is also developing a commercial power generation business. Vedanta Resources, headed by Sri Anil Agarwal, has over 30,000 employees across the geographies and revenues in excess of $10 billion. Vedanta believes that their experience in operating and expanding businesses in India will allow them to capitalize on attractive growth opportunities arising from India's large mineral reserves, relatively low cost of operations, large workforce and talent pools. Vedanta Resources consists of the following group companies and mines. Vedanta Aluminium Limited, the Madras Aluminium Company Limited, Sesa Goa Limited, Konkola Copper Mines PLC, Sterlite Industries India Limited, which in turn has many subsidiaries. I was immediately inspired and the dream stayed with me and I really strive for it. Our family business was a scrap business, also cable business. We used to collect scrap from the cable company and always used to think to have a cable company established for ourselves. When I set up a cable company, I realized the cable business is not that profitable. The biggest thing is copper and aluminum, which was their raw material. And it was amazing when I, when I saw that the most of this business was in hand of the government. It was very difficult a private player to come into in this, this business because of the financing, licensing and so on. But we could make our headway, set up the first copper smelter in India in private sector in Tutipur. We were the first company to have put up a uh, smelter, copper smelter in India in, way back in 1995-96 and which started operation in the year 1997. Tutukuran, known as Tutukuri in Tamil, is a main port city of India. Being one of the main port cities of India, Tutukuran is famous for pearl diving, production of salt, fishing and other related businesses. Around 70% salt used in Tamil Nadu is manufactured in Tutukuran. Tutukuran, already famous for its ports and industries, has gained one more pearl through sterlite. Sterlite has strived hard for the overall economic growth, industrial growth and infrastructural growth of Tutukurin. We have a turnover of about 13,700 crores per annum currently and we contribute about 5% of the total GDP of the state of Tamil Nadu. We contribute about 1,600 crore towards the exchequer in way of our taxes and uh, we are a mainstay to the economy of uh, Tutukurin. Uh, contributing to the various to the logistics in a big way in the in in Tutukuran. Uh, we amount to about 20 percent of the total traffic of Tutukuran port uh, through our various activities of import and export and uh, we also support at least about 50 ancillary units in and around Tutukuran through our various activities and uh, we have been a major contributor to the economy of Tutukuran, especially when most of the industries in Tutukuran were closing down in the last decade. Sterlite Industries India Limited is the principal subsidiary of Vedanta Resources PLC. Sterlite's principal operating companies comprise Hindustan Zinc Limited with integrated zinc, lead and silver operations. Bharat Aluminium Company Limited with aluminium and alumina operations. Sterlite Energy Limited with commercial power generation business. Sterlite Zinc International Operations. Fujera Gold. Copper Mines of Tasmania and Sterlite Copper. Sterlite Copper has a vision to be the world's leading copper producer delivering sustainable value 
to all stakeholders by leveraging technology and best practices. Sterlite Copper has won many awards in various areas like environment, quality, human resources, corporate social responsibility, logistics, energy efficiency, water efficiency, etc. A few awards won by Sterlite Copper are IMC Ramakrishna Bajaj National Quality Award, Outstanding Achievement Trophy and Performance Excellence Trophy, International Star Award, Gold Category by Business Initiatives Directions, Spain, Gold and Peacock Award by World Environment Foundation, Frost and Sullivan's IMEA Corporate Super Platinum Award, British Safety Council's Safety Award, CII Awards for Excellence in Energy Management, Water Management, Energy Efficiency and Water Efficiency, CII ITC Sustainability Award for the company's focus and commitment to its social, economic and environmental status. Awards from Tutikor Import Trust for handling highest volume of exports and imports excluding coal. The copper business comprises smelting and processing of copper and production of its byproducts. The operations include smelter, refinery, sulfuric acid plant, phosphoric acid plant and copper rod plant at Tutukorin in Tamil Nadu and a refinery and two copper rod plants at Silvassa in the Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli in Western India. In addition, they own the Mount Lyle copper mine at Tasmania in Australia, which produces a clean concentrate that is valuable in the smelting process. The Tutukorin smelter was in lowest cost quartile among all copper smelting operations in the world. The refineries at Tutukorin and Silvasa are globally ranked 7th lowest and 8th lowest in production costs respectively. Sterlite Copper's main products include copper cathode and continuous cast rods. Its byproducts are sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, gypsum, ferrosand and slime. We get our concentrate from mines located in Chile, Brazil, Indonesia and Australia. Copper concentrates from Sterlite's copper mine are blended with bought out concentrates from other sources and treat it to get optimum results. The smelter is based on a proven energy efficient and environment friendly technology namely ISA process from Xtrata Australia. In the first stage called slag blow most of the iron and a small quantity of sulfur are oxidized and removed. In the second stage called copper blow sulfur is removed to get blister copper. Converter slag is treated in a slag cleaning furnace for recovery of copper. Blister copper is further refined by oxidation and then by reduction to approximately 99.7% copper purity in the anode furnace and cast as copper anodes. Latest version of CS3000 distributed control system controls the entire copper smelter. Advanced process control implementation methodology involves data collection, approximate candidate controller design, prototype controller design, simulation, testing and final implementation. The anode produced by the smelters is processed in the Silvasa and Tutikorin refineries using ISA process technology sourced from Xtrata Australia. The refineries convert copper anodes to electrolytic grade copper cathodes of 99.99% purity. Cathodes are then automatically washed, stripped and packed. An acid purification plant contributes to the purification of the electrolyte, significantly enhancing the quality of the cathodes. During the electro refining process, precious metals like gold, silver and platinum present in the anode settle down at the bottom of the cells along with other impurities and form sludge. Its applications include continuous cast copper rods, copper wire bars, bus bars, billets, ingots, 
moles and other semis. Copper-based alloys and downstream products. Copper tubes, strips and foils.